Here's a camera move showing a long pan background. The camera pans across quickly from one end to the other, starting on the building in the uh, background and then moving to the mailbox. Again, this has a field guide that is on another layer showing the start and the stop position. That can be toggled on and off. And this is the camera start field, which matches the field guide, and the end field, which matches the field guide. You just toggle on the camera, and you can see how it moves across very nicely. The time profile shows the uh, slow out, or I'm sorry, the slow in at the beginning and the slow out at the end. So it accelerates in the middle of the move, and it's slower on either end, and it holds at the end. You can see where it's flatlined along the top. After the move has stopped, it holds longer on the mailbox. Anytime you've got the line uh, completely flat across one portion of the profile, it means that uh, the camera is not moving. Notice that I've put motion blur on it. I've got it at about 52%. You can dial that up or down depending on how much motion blur you want to see on the move. Now the motion blur uh, doesn't actually show when you first set it up like this. You have to render it to a new movie. Or when you render it out for your final export, it will show. But notice I'm rendering camera to a new project. So this is going to render the camera move. It'll leave the original project intact, but now here's the move with the motion blur. You can see that's quite a bit of motion blur. I put it at 72%, which is maybe a little too much for this. Probably doesn't need to blur quite that much. But you'll notice how the motion blur is applied. It's only applied to the frames where the camera is moving. When the camera is still, there's no blur. So I'm going to dial that back down to maybe around 50 percent, which is probably a better amount for this move. And now we'll again render the camera to a new project. And here it is with the motion blur. And this may not be playing back uh, real smoothly in the uh, interface with the screen capture software, but you can look at the original source file and see how it looks. But you'll notice that the motion blur tapers off as the camera move uh, stops, and it tapers on as the camera move begins. With most of the motion blur being in the middle of the move which is the most active. So I'm going to show you something else you can do here with the time profile. Um, this is a straight move across, but what if you wanted to stop in the middle? So I'm going to create a new camera position there in the middle and a new point on the camera profile, time profile, and I'm actually going to create several new points so that I've got a flat line portion slowing into and slowing out of that. But remember, when it's flat lined like that, the area between the two points that are flat lined will not move. So that will be a hold. So let me just adjust this a little bit. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get it absolutely flat, but so it stops and then continues. Stops and continues. So you would have some sometimes have a, a reason to need to do that, to stop in the middle of a move. This is a, a really quick, abrupt stop. 
but uh, it shows you in principle how that works. When it hits the flat line right there, it holds, and then it continues to move on after that. So that's how you do a simple pan move.